Hello everyone, my name is Sohil Hassan and I am a sophomore undergraduate biomedical engineering student working in Dr. Ding's imaging lab. My project is on virtual reality for interactive medical analysis. To give you a little background on the fundamentals of this project, I will first introduce you to CT imaging. Computed tomography, or CT, is an imaging method used to visualize anatomy and make clinical decisions. This comes in the form of a stack of 2D image slices. Moving on, virtual reality, or VR, is a platform that allows for a user to interact with an immersive 3D virtual environment. This is an increasingly popular topic, as I'm sure you have heard of virtual reality games or simulations. Components of VR involve a head-mounted display and two hand controllers. Our current research problem when it comes to CT data is that there is a limitation in viewing 2D slices of what is, in actuality, a 3D volume of a human body. To address this issue, we have created a workflow that integrates virtual reality with CT to allow for immersive visualization, manipulation, and analysis of CT data. Our current workflow is a four-step process. First, we take our raw data and segment it, which is basically labeling the specific anatomical features in the data, like the tissue, the trachea, and vessels in the lungs. This is seen in the first transition of figure one. A surface model representing the data is immediately generated after segmentation, and in our second step, we further process, process that model to fully render all surfaces, seen in the second transition in Figure 1. Our third step is importing that model into Unity, a game engine, to attach color materials and operation scripts to that model. Lastly, we use an Oculus Quest 2 VR headset and controllers to manipulate and interact with our model. The results we have gathered are divided between two sets of CT data. Let's first talk about the lungs. Demonstrated by the side views of the lungs, seen in figures 2b and 2c, our lung model is anatomically accurate. We are able to see distinct lobes of the lungs, as well as the fissures. One operation we showcase here in figures 2a, d, and e is the opacity operation, which allows us to adjust the transparency of the lung tissue to increase the visibility of inner structures, such as the pulmonary vessels. We also have a distance measuring operation seen in figure 2F where we measure the length of a vessel branch. The view of the heart model in th figure 3A side by side with 3B shows that our heart model is also anatomically accurate since we are able to see the ventricles, atria, and vasculature. Figure 3C demonstrates our grabbing operation where we are able to move a regional segment of the model, in this case the pericardium, to increase visibility of the inner structures. We also perform cuts on the model with a user-defined plane, seen in figure 3D. These cuts have a processing time between when a user defines a cut plane and when the model splits into two parts. We have performed quantitative analysis on the processing time for cuts and initially found two trends. First, increased vertex count in the model leads to an exponential increase in processing time, which is the black line in figure 3E. The other trend is that performing a second cut on the same model takes less time than the first cut which is seen by the red line in figure 3E. From the second trend, we postulated that the decrease in processing time from the second cut may be due to the fact that the cut takes place on two split components of the model rather than the whole model at once. Therefore, we implemented an optimization method by splitting the mesh into components before importing the model into virtual reality, as shown in figure 3G. Indeed, by having a split mesh, the processing time was significantly reduced, seen when comparing the green and red line on the graph in three, figure 3F. Overall, our developed framework has successfully shown enhanced, accurate visualization, manipulation, and analysis of CT data in virtual reality. Our quantitative analysis of the cutting operation has allowed us to find optimization methods for processing time. What this means is fast, almost immediate response to user input, making the overall VR experience feel more immersive and enjoyable. Possible applications of our program include medical education, such as learning anatomy in a fun interactive manner, surgical planning, and improved patient communication, as it is much easier to understand the human body from a 3D model rather than 2D slices. Thank you.